You're listening to The Curtis Riggs Show, brought to you by Sioux Falls Specialty Hospital and by Orthopedic Institute on 98.1, 1230 Sports Radio, KWSN. Back to the show. Here's Rich Rosti. And this is The Curtis Riggs Show, and this segment is the storm ticket giveaway brought to you by Lewis Pharmacies. Get in, get out, feel better. And after the interview, we'll take the third call, 336-1234. Free tickets to the next Storm home game. That's Friday, June 8th. Storm takes on the Iowa Barnstormers. And joining us via the fan line, he is a former great player with the Sioux Falls Storm, former coach, defensive coordinator. He's in the record book as the second in passes defended career-wise, 77. Ten tackles in a game versus Bloomington extreme that was in july 12th of 08 30 yards in missed field goal return that was in one game and third in career postseason tackles 70.5 and folks andre fields thanks for being on the curtis rig show dre how you doing rich well i tell you what you had quite a career with the sioux falls storm and and you were a, a tremendous leader and also played with tremendous leaders and that's why i wanted to have you on the show today to talk about leadership in general in sports and and uh, tell me what are the characteristics of a of a great leader i think you know in sports the characteristics of a great leader is obviously somebody who's passionate about winning as a group right because it's obviously a team sport and if you don't have the overall passion to win as a team and i know it sounds like a cliche but if you don't have the passion to win as a group You'll never truly fully be one. Uh, and I think a leader also is someone who is also willing to follow. A uh, great leader is someone who knows when to follow um, because, you know, a key part of leadership is being able to adapt your leadership style to the people that you're leading, right? Mm-hmm. Not everybody is motivated the same way. Uh, and so a great leader knows that and is able to adjust uh, their approach. Um, and sometimes that approach means that they may have to take a step back and follow rather than lead. Um, but ultimately, if everybody's going in the same direction, then you end up at the same location. One of the things that you, when I think about a leader, they have to have credibility. They have to have respect from their teammates, don't they? Uh, yes. And, you know, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be the star player or right. that you have to be the, the number one face or, or name on the team. It just means that they know that you're willing to give 110% and that you have the team's back, so to speak. I mean, I think of guys like uh, Bill Bates, uh, who is a Hall of Famer, famous you know uh, player from the Buffalo Bills, that all he did was special teams. I mean, this is the guy who just ran down on kicks and, 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 and kickoff returns, and yet he did it with such passion, he did it with such consistency uh, that he also ended up in the Hall of Fame. And I'm sure he was a leader on that team and, you know, never did a commercial, not that I'm aware of, maybe locally. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, never was was uh, someone who was going to get 40, 50 snaps a game. He got maybe, you know, 10, 5, 10 plays a game, if that, you know, and uh, but he made the most out of them. And I'm sure because of the way he played, uh, guys looked up to him and respected him. And I think that's the important thing, that you know, if there's a guy on the team that he goes out and he, he practices hard, he has great work ethic, he's the kind of guy that, that doesn't take a playoff, and the guys around him start to notice that, that's what puts a person in a place to be a leader. Absolutely. And, you know, and sometimes the other thing that, that comes as a part of that too, Rich, is uh, you got to humble yourself. You know, you got to realize that uh, you're, not, you're not going to be perfect all the time. But if you're, like you said, the one that can send you to just keep you know, getting up, wiping himself off, and keep coming back, I mean, people see that and they notice and they, and they respect that. And, again, they, there you go. And it comes down to the respect factor. And once you've earned that, uh, then – you know, you can bring other guys along and get them to do things as well. You know, the thing about a leader, sometimes that they have to be critical, and sometimes they have to get kind of into the face of the other guys on the team. Uh, will players accept that from someone they respect versus Absolutely. someone they don't? Absolutely, and that's the key there. And, and, again, the respect comes from how they see you handle situations like that or how much you're giving out. You can't be the person that's critical of somebody else if you're not always 
uh, going 100 percent yourself, right? You got to walk what you talk. And when guys realize that you do that, uh, they will definitely give you that respect uh, when you're very critical of them. That and, and the key thing is, you know, there are a lot of guys who uh, think that they're in leadership. You know, you don't have to be the captain of the team to be the guy who is the leader in the locker room or the one who is, you know, calling out other players. Uh, you just have to be the most consistent and hardworking guy and be willing to do the things that you're asking of them, you know. And, and when guys know that you're that you're doing that and when they know that you have the best interest at heart, that's the other key piece that I think you're mentioning, Rich, is, you know, if I'm going to call somebody out, I'm not doing it to, de- to, me- to demean you. Um, I want you to play better, and I know that you can, and our goal is to do this together. And if I feel like you're not carrying your weight, um, I need to say something about it because the log is heavy, you know, and I need you to carry your part of the log the same way I'm carrying mine. And uh, and if I have to, you know, get more out of you by getting on you a little bit, then so be it. You know, as long as when we end up at the same destination, we'll put the log down together and celebrate. We're talking to Andre Fields, and uh, you are being a leader right now the way you're uh, answering these questions because uh, this is just the way that you played. It's just the way that you were on the field, and that's why you were such a good leader to so many different people. But here's a question. Can you be a leader, let's say, your defense, that's what you were. That's what you played, cornerback. Can a leader go over and talk to the offensive side of the ball? Absolutely. And, crit- and criticize them? Absolutely. Because, you know, again, especially in a sport like football, um, the ultimate team sport, I mean, the ultimate team sport, you can have, you know, the arena football, you have eight players out there. Seven of them perform well and one doesn't. You lose, you know, or you lose that play. Uh, so, you need everybody, and, you know, you can't do it alone. No matter how much, you know, if we never let a team score and the offense doesn't put up at least three points, you still lose the game, you know, <laughs> so to speak. So, you, you, yeah, you can definitely go over on the other side and call them out uh, and get things going. But, again, you can't do that if you're not willing to put up yourself um, and, 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 and if you're also not willing to be called out. That's the other mm-hmm. part of it is, you know, if, you, if you're having a bad day or a bad game, you know, and somebody calls you out, you know, you have to be able, you know, a leader can take that. And the leader probably needs it and wants it um, because he or she knows uh, that if they're not performing well, you know, somebody needs to call them out about it so that they don't duplicate that effort the next time. Here's another question for Andre Field. Is leadership given to you? Is it taken upon yourself? Or is it an obvious gravitation of followers to you? I think it's a little bit of two of those three. Okay. Um, I think it's a little bit of a gravitation toward toward the person who is is always putting out. I mean, you, you think of movies like Rudy. Oh you know, he, he was definitely not a leader uh, appointed, um, and he was definitely not someone that if you walked onto the practice field, you would think, wow, he's the leader of this team. However, you saw in the movie that – guys fed off of him and guys respected him and and they were willing to do things for him because of you know the effort that he put out for them ultimately you know because he was doing it for the team not for himself and uh and so in that regard he was the leader of that of that ball club i mean so much so they carried him off at the end of the movie right right. um but definitely uh you don't have to be appointed you know honestly the first few years of of playing um you know, the last few years, you know, I would go out with the captains and things like that. But the first, you know, several years as a player with the Storm, I wasn't a team captain. I wasn't voted team captain or anything. Um, but I felt like a team captain because of the relationships that I had uh, with the guys. And, and as you said, the ability to, you know, feel like when we needed somebody to step up and say something, I was willing to do it, you know. And a lot of times my leadership style was – I would look to the other leaders on the team and and follow their lead. So if if they weren't taking the leadership role and I felt like it was a void, then I would step in and fill it. And if they were doing it, then my role was to follow them and kind of uh, back up their lead. And uh, and again, once you get a few guys rolling, you know, once you get a few wheels rolling in the right direction, 
then the car moves by itself, and all you're doing <laughs> is jogging behind it. You know what I mean? You're not pushing anymore. That's right. Andre feels like Dave. We could talk for a whole hour, but i got to get back to the coach. But, Andre, thank you so much. Your insight about leadership is fantastic. For anybody that is looking for that in their in their team and in their organization, anywhere, fantastic stuff, Dre. Well, I appreciate it, Rich. You're a leader on the radio, baby. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just following you. Thanks again. Andre Fields, uh, what a great uh, segment. And that's, this segment's brought to you by uh, um, Lewis Pharmacies. Get in, get out, feel better. And we'll take your third caller, 336-1230. Four free tickets to that Iowa Barnstormers game coming up on Friday, June 8th. We'll be back with the head coach right after we pause for this timeout. I'm Bill Ladwig.